Stay your name, where you from? The Alba, for Bruce, South of North, Jersey. And how you get your name? Streets, movies. The Ruski shit was like some shit I got from like mafia shit. And what is it like in the South for the people that don't know? It's a treacherous. It's a treacherous. It's like regular, regular ghetto. Everybody got a hood, shit the same. It's all trouble. Did you always live out here in Newark? Yeah, but nah. I was like back and forth, like Arizona. I say like when I was like 17. I got kicked out, stayed on some like wild and teed up shit I had to leave. So it's like, I was just going back and forth and then. How was life in Arizona? Like, how was it different from Jersey? That shit like suburbs. Like, even they hood, that shit like suburbs. Like, shit you know, That shit was like, it's slow. <laughs> it's slow. And how was your childhood growing up? I, I ain't even gonna say like a childhood. But that shit was like, Some of the hobbies that you went to, you play sports? Hell yeah. I played basketball. I feel like I had like a little scholarship. I feel like go to, um, I don't know the name of school, whatever that school was that Kyrie uh, Irving went to. I had a scholarship to go there. I did like AU, pay for rural runners, that nigga. You feel me? Yeah. That shit wasn't for me. Okay. In what position did you play? Small four when I played AU. You feel me? Them niggas was tall as hell compared to me in the game. Did you ever think about trying to go to the NBA or just something that you was doing for the time? Like, when I was doing that shit, yeah, I lied myself that. You feel me? Like, once I like, stopped doing that shit, it was dead way for me. And what type of student were you in school? I was like a class clown. But I was smart, you feel me? When I got to high school, it was like advanced prep classes. I ain't do too much high school, though. I was like, I was like by myself. But as far as like my mother and them, they wasn't like really on me about going to school. So I was like, Did you end up finish school? Hmm? Did you end up finishing school? Yeah. I gotta get a bag for it, though. I gotta get a bag and go back. I got my GD though. That's right. Mm. When did you start rapping? I started rapping, I was like, I want to say 12, 13. It was like whatever year that motherfucking, that uh, 50 came out with that like, Get Rich Without Trying shit. I had people see that shit, and I came back out of no book. Is that he, is he one of your favorite artists or who, who are some of the artists that's your favorite? I ain't gonna say favorite artist, but like he he helped me. Yeah. If the favorite artist I say like Wayne, Drake, like the niggas that was killing shit, going crazy and shit. You feel me? But like right now, like Wayne, Drake, me, if you fuck with the nigga ESTG. So would you say 50 Cent inspired you to start rapping? Hell yeah. That whole little G on the movement, like that whole shit, man. If it wasn't for that, I don't think like I would've been like rapping. Cause like, I used to see like the homies and them doing that shit, like the old niggas. You feel me? Like, I used to like play around with that shit. But like, when I seen that movie and I just seen that shit, I was just like, I don't fuck around do that shit. And it was like, he told the story like I regular shit, like niggas coming up, you feel me, getting into shit. Found music and that shit. Let us in that section. And besides 50 Cent, who are some of the other artists that you listened to growing up? I used to listen to like Hipset, motherfucking um, 
Young Money, that whole little camp, that was like around the time of the Young Money camp, and it was like really coming up. Motherfucking, um, and then my mother them, they used to have me listen to like old school shit. Like when they like found out that I could rap, then they started like having me like listening to like the shit that was before. Like, I know where you're going. But where we came from, you know where you're going. So what type of artists would you say you were in there? Um, then? Like now? Like now, I was now. Based on like, like growing up? You said that like, you was listening to old school music. Yeah, so nah, you said I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a street rapper, mm -hmm. but like I'm like a mixed breed between like conscious rappers. Like, you feel me? So like street conscious rapper. Like you feel me? Like I be talking that shit, but still at the same time I be trying to show niggas like it's different. You know? So how would you say you stand out as an artist? My motherfucking voice. You feel me? And I really be talking that shit like I'm really nice as hell, like no cap. <laughs> no cap, really nice as hell. Be body and shit. And I know you said like people, I think I seen on Instagram, you said like people will be saying sometimes that your voice like is different, like or aggy, like. Hell yeah. How did that I make you feel? You feel me? At first I was like, what the fuck you talking about? Then I like, I really had to realize like nah that shit because I don't be liking to listen to my shit a lot either like I'll be listening to my music that shit don't cut that shit off <laughs> so like I start switching it up now now I just be like using my voice instead of like trying to put the brass and shit on and what's one of your most known songs? I got a lot of known songs you feel me but like just venting just venting you feel me motherfucking um freebie tweets spin the band Slide with me and Shotgun Shug. Let me step into Ox, man, bundles. You feel me? I got a couple bucks, okay. And what is one of the, your favorite songs that you made? All of them. But like my most, like my favorite, favorite song is that um, Lemon Pepper Freestyle that I did. Yeah. You feel me? Because it was like that was hard. different. It was elevation. You feel me? You would see like the transition of me like not doing the raspy shit. To me, like actually, like using my voice and talking, and not just like talking some bullshit. I like, gun draw, da, da, da. I feel like really talking, talking. Like. Did you say like your wordplay different? Cause I I, I be here listening to music. Like, you I see that like, you get switching it up a lot. Yeah, yeah. I be trying to stay relevant. Yeah. You feel me? Stay in the current times, but still stay me. You feel me? So it's like yeah, it hit me. Hop on the beat, and it could be like a, a chip vibe, or you can hit me hop on some shit. It's like a party vibe, and it's like I'm still gonna be me. But I'm gonna keep it like on, on concept. We'll talk about your latest project, Lil Flip, uh, Flip Ruski 2. Like, what was the process like for making that? I just did the Lil Boy Ruski Deluxe shit. You feel me? That shit going crazy. Motherfucker. It was like basically me showing niggas like me. You feel me? Instead of like doing what everybody else wanted me to do. Because this time like, I ain't really like used the pen too much on this tape. It was more so like me getting in and just talking. You feel me? Whatever, put the beat on, whatever kind of mind came to mind type shit. So, was it more like freestyling or writing or just like punching it? Yeah, punching it. You feel me? Heavy on the punching ass. But that shit be on the spot though, so it's like you could say it's freestyling, but like heavy on the punching it. And what's one of your favorite songs off that tape? Um. Little Cat. Back it up. I think back it back it up on yeah. the that's on the um I think that's on the other one. But back it up, I'm gonna say back it up but that's on that one. Back it up because like it's different. You feel me? It ain't the normal shit. Like when you listen to the whole tape, it's like mm -hmm. you got the street vibes, da, 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 you feel me, vibes, vibes, and you get there and it's like, oh this it ain't supposed to be there. You know I mean? Like a house a house, a house vibe. Like a jersey vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like a, a jersey vibe. vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And for that, like, do you, did you have a producer or engineer that was making the beats for you? Yeah, I got a couple producers. Who was some that you um, I got, like, five beat makers. Ever since, like, just venting, I dropped that. I ain't really been, like, doing, I ain't, I ain't gonna say really been, I ain't doing no YouTube beats. Like, if I did a YouTube beat, that shit was a feature with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Other than that, everything you hear me put out is all my beats for me, for my producers, for me, my son, Melzy B, uh, Smooth Ben Hood, uh, 
Tommy Flexington. I just linked with the nigga uh, RZ Beats. You feel me? He do RZ eight oh eight. He like uh, it's somebody else. I'm forgetting that nigga. You feel me? If I forgot you, shout out to you. You feel me? You know who you are. And usually, how long does it take you to make a song? You in the studio like one song? That should be anywhere from like if I'm feeling it, feeling it. I'm gonna say like fifteen. For me, that's a hook, verse, another verse, like all that. But like, I'm gonna say like 30 minutes to an hour. How do you feel that you promote yourself or market yourself as an artist? Not enough. You feel me? I drop some shit and just let it do what it do. You feel me? Over time, that shit start to pick up when niggas get hip to that shit. But if I start promoting more, I know niggas that gravitate to it more than just like me dropping it, letting them find it on their own type shit. Gotta start putting that shit in their face, bro. And tell us about your brand, um, the Op Shop. How did you come up about uh, come up with that? With my name, the Big Op. You feel me? Everybody don't know the Big Op. That's me, I'm him, the original. You feel me? But it's like, I just start like, seeing like how people from like Virgil, Off-White, Supreme, like how they was doing it. You feel me? And it's like they don't really got a brand. They could put their name on some shit. You feel me? And that shit have said more than what niggas are going to do because I'm trying to have my shit. You feel me? Quality over quantity. You know? That's right. And what are some of your, like besides like making clothes, what are some of your hobby outside of rap that you do? I ain't even want hold that really be it. You feel me? The movie shit, I've my clothes shit. That's what we like right now. And then to then, once I get where I want that to be, you feel me, then I'm gonna start venturing off into other shit. You feel me? Real estate, you feel me? Cars and all that extra mm -hmm. goofy shit. But right now, I'm just trying to lock in on one thing and get that shit lit and then move on to the next. And how does your family and friends feel about you rapping? Like, you think they support you there all the way? It's like 50-50, because it's like they, they know the shit, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's your dream, and ain't nobody gonna see your dream, so it's like, you gotta show them it. So it's like, if I drop, they'll support it. Like, you feel me, they spending it, they playing it, you feel me, they know the words, but they don't do too much more than what I do. Like, you feel me, so it's like, if I ain't promoting, if I ain't pushing, they ain't doing it either, so it's like, it's 50-50 on that shit. Mm -hmm. um. Would you sign to a label if they came to you with an offer, or would you stay independent? I want to stay independent, but only how I sign if they give me full, like, creative control over my shit. Like, I ain't with, like, trying to sign my shit over to nobody. You feel me? Like, give me the bag I want, let me run it how I want to run it. You feel me? Hell yeah, I sign, but other than that, independent as hell. And if you went up to a label, um, and they had asked you to play one song, and they'll sign you, what song would you play? If not Lil Boy Ruski, I'll do um, Baggage Clan. You feel me? I'll do Baggage Clan. Because it's like, it showed the versatility. You feel me? Lil Boy Ruski is more like a freestyle track. I'm just snapping all bars. You feel me? But that shit all catchy. And then Baggage Clan, we got the hook. You got your verses, so like it's still bars and that shit though, like yeah. top to bottom. You feel me? So it's like, and it's catchy, it's a melody pop, something niggas are saying, hear that shit, one repeat type shit. So either one, one of those two. Yeah, one of them. And why you think like no one from Jersey, like, you know, it's people blowing up, but not like I don't think that we're at where we should be because we have a lot of talent, but we're not Fuck there this. all the way. Cause this what happened. It'd be like, when niggas at the bottom, they talk that support shit. Jersey, 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 Jersey. Yeah, we got to sit together, we got to sit together. And then like, they get on and then you, you feel me, try to reach out to them and they like, oh, I'm doing this or I. And I understand it. Like, you feel me, but it's like, still like reach back out to them people that's down there. Yeah. Like, you feel me, stay connected. You feel me, because that's how the, you feel me, the Atlanta niggas, that's how anybody yeah. like, that's thriving music wise is, you feel me, lit, because they, the niggas that's getting on, they reaching back down to the niggas that ain't on and they mm -hmm. you feel me, pulling them on so it keep everybody relevant. 
You feel me? So it's like, I might not have a bop right now. You feel me? But he got a bop. So it's like, I pull him and I do a song with him. You feel me? He lit now. Niggas still ain't remind me to stay relevant. You feel me? Niggas don't, don't stay relevant because they don't reach back out to the niggas. That's the vibes right there. With Jersey, you feel like it's more of a competition who can get on first. Hell and yeah. after that, it's more support. Like, even when I be talking to everybody, they be like, oh, like, you feel me? Run your own race. It's your race. You feel me? You want to get there and get there. And it's like, with that mindset, it show you that they bent on competition. You feel me? Because it's like it shouldn't be a race. Like, you feel me? That's why I be trying to tell them, like, nigga, like, Nipsey really had that shit to unpack. That shit, like, for me, a marathon. Yeah. This is like, we all running for the same common goal. You feel me? No matter who, who get there first, they all, all of them running for the same goal, for the same purpose. Like, you feel me? But it's like, everybody in their own lane, they moving at their own pace, but they all got the same common goal. You feel me? So it'd be like, Niggas be heavy on the competition when they be saying that shit, that race shit, that shit be getting to me because it's like, it shouldn't be a race. You feel me? If we racing, we should be racing against other people. Yeah. You feel me, brothers? Not as against as our, our, our own people be, in Jersey. You feel me? One goal, one band, one sign. You feel me? No matter who get there first, we all getting it together. So, well, more so like support or more like, you know, more eyes on Jersey, how do you plan to capitalize off it? Just start promoting more. Start getting myself out there, you feel me? Cause it's like, I ain't gonna hold you, I'm some, some shy nigga. You feel me? So it's like, I'm trying to break out that shell, start getting inside their face more, start just like networking with the people around me that's doing shit, doing the same type of shit as me. So it's like, everybody get lit. Y'all gonna be there. And who are your top five artists in Jersey that you rocking with right now? Right now, Bonds, motherfucking, um, White boy, my son DG. I'm rocking with Shug, heavy, heavy on That's my boy. And my son True Stories. You feel me? And then like my six man would be like Lady J. You feel me? She she going crazy right now. No cap. You feel me? Like she don't be getting the recognition she deserves because she ain't she ain't really talking that street shit. She like different with it. Like you feel me? Rock star vibes. Like, so I see that you have a lot of features. I see like C's, um, Shug, uh, Bundles. Who else have you collabed with? Oh, fucking uh, Reek, Lizzy, um, All Star. I got songs with motherfucking Snow, Big STJ. I got songs with Joe G. Hancho. Motherfucking, um, I got songs with Lady J. I got songs with True. I got songs with Henny B. I got songs with Flock Grazy, well Flock so Grazy. Um, I got songs with a lot of people, you feel me? I really be like, yeah. trying to reach out and connect with everybody, you feel me? It's just like, niggas be hard, you feel me? I have boom as vibe. You feel me? I got some other shit coming with up, you feel me? A bunch of other people too, but I don't want to speak on them shit since us, but, you feel me? And how can people get a feature from you? Hit me. The gang, hit me. I'm gonna set that shit up, I'm gonna lock in. You feel me? When the gang just hit me. I'm open like features and all that shit. You feel me? In New Jersey, you feel me? I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I'm gonna charge you. You feel me? But I ain't gonna charge you as much as I charge everybody else. You feel me? And it's the same thing if I hit you. You feel me? I expect you to charge me too. It's your craft. You feel me? So I ain't gonna feel no type of way about you doing that, especially if I really want to lock in with you. You feel me? But if you somebody who ain't like somebody, don't be trying to charge me because like, we gonna get lit together. <laughs> I ain't gonna charge you. You feel me? So, like, what new content do you have coming out? Like visuals, songs? Uh, right now, yeah. I'm trying to do the video for Back It Up. Uh, the video for Studies and Hops. I got the, uh, I got the tape, Psych War, for me and all that shit. I got the show. You feel me? Nah, go ahead, Shay. You go ahead. Uh, I think I got the tape, Psych War, with all that shit. I got to take um, Ace and Mitch with True Stories. Uh, and then I got the Jaruki shit coming later on this year. You feel me? That shit gonna be all chick box shit on the kids. Do you have any dates for any of these? Nah, actually ain't no dates set. But y'all gonna get every last one of them shits before the year out. That's a problem. And do you have any upcoming shows? Yeah, but ain't nothing set. It's strong, so I don't wanna talk. You feel me? It's us. You feel me? It's there. But I got some big shit coming, like playing on the kick, like shit crazy. It's uh, some big shit. Like, you know. 
Um, what are some plans uh, and goals that you have to take your music career to the next level? Um, and what are some of your goals for the year? Just promote more, get more visuals out there. Try to get these features and shit like that with other Jersey artists. You feel me? Just get seen more, get heard more. Just like let motherfuckers start seeing me more on the scenes and shit like that. What is one message that you would give to your fans? Keep going. You feel me? Even when you be wanting to quit, if it's something, then you gotta tell you keep going. Listen to that shit. Keep going. Listen to your gut. You feel me? Stay focused. Try to stay sane, you feel me? Because that's like heavy people don't get that shit. You feel me? Mental health is key, like stay sane. 